Alright guys, well what's going on? Welcome to your next Android tutorial. So for this video and possibly one or two more, I've decided to cover a new Android, uh, or new, a new thing, which is the web view. Now I've never done a video on web view before, however I found it very handy. So as always we're going to create our new project, so it's called web view example. And we're going to go with a uh, 2.3.3 gingerbread, uh, target SDK Android 4.3 jelly bean, light with dark action bar, blah, 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 blah. Not going to be using anything. Just quickly create a project. Okay, so now we've got a project created. Now I'm having this issue with the uh, Eclipse is loading the framework information from the SDK folder. I'm currently working on a fix for that. But we'll work around it for now. So literally all we're going to be doing in this video is uh, we're not even going to use this layout. We're just going to create a web view. So we're going to close out that and we're going to just create a web view. So you can do this. Uh, we don't even have to use set content view for a, uh, a layout ID. We can actually just set content view on an actual view. So if we go up here and type web view. then web view equals new whoops that didn't work web view and in the context of this activity import web view and can you set the content view of to the web view and then that'll render that web view on the screen so that's all we've got is one web view on screen so uh, before any is wondering, what is a web view? A web view essentially allows you to display formatted HTML and CSS in your project. And it is flipping amazing sometimes. Now, used sparingly, you can use this to create some really nice stuff. I mostly use it for text formatting, and that's what we're going to get into. So in order to get into the text formatting, we're going to go to uh, the Pixel Enemy website and pull some text. Uh, text out with our page and then we'll use that as our template so on the pixel enemy website we're just going to go to any article blah 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 and that's not what has a video in it that causes problems uh, there we go okay good this will do nicely so what we're going to do is want to copy or right click on it inspect element in the developer tools i know it's a little bit hairy but we just need to find the article content and copy as HTML, go into Eclipse, create a new file in the assets folder. Okay, the file name will be HTML, or hang on, it will be article.html. Finish. And uh, we're going to paste in our HTML here. Now, obviously, there's bits of JavaScript, we need to go through this a little bit and touch it up. So all this part here can be gone. Uh, section, comments, get rid of all that. Div class clear. <laughs> that's, a, that's a div fix, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw an array closing tag in this for article. Okay, good, we're done. So that's the article HTML ready. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna load that HTML into our web view. And that's all we're gonna do. Uh, and the reason it's so useful is that text formatting in HTML is very easy. It's very easy to create links out to other sites. So let's say you've got an XML file that you've, you've pulled XML from the net somewhere and it contains a, an article with specially formatted text and you want to like, you know, have the links still work, have the formatting stay the same, it's gonna end up going everywhere. You're never gonna get it right on Android because you'll be create, dynamically creating views and essentially you'll be converting HTML to Android native, which is a mess. WebView solves these issues. Now, WebView on uh, Android 2.2 can get a little bit spaghetti-ish and there's problems with it, so I wouldn't advise using it under 2.2 or lower. Anyway, 
So what we're going to do is we're simply going to say string HTML equals this dot get assets dot open And then the file name we're going to get is article.html. And that needs to be a string. Ah, bollocks. Okay, so I forgot that this doesn't actually, um, this is an input stream. I believe anyway, let's just see. Yeah, it's an input stream. So it's an input stream. Uh, we're just gonna very quickly convert the input stream to a string. So in stream size, we're not gonna do the looping buffer because it's a short stream and we can get away with loading the whole lot into memory at once. Dot available. load into the buffer stream size and then stream read the stream into the buffer All this has to be done in try catch of course as well. This thing is gonna get messy very fast. It's much more useful if you've got the string already from like HTML or somewhere. So we're just gonna throw all this into a big try catch block. And buffer and then you need to just uh, string HTML. Close your stream, sure. Derp. Stream dot close and then string HTML equals new string and our buffer. Done. Normally you'd use string builders and stuff like that, but anyway, now we've got our HTML as a string. And uh, we want to open up our HTML and we just want to make a few changes. Um, We need to add our uh, HTML itself. Our tags, our head, head tags, uh, body. This is just standard HTML nonsense. Better add it though, otherwise we might get yelled at by the web view. Well, the web view will render it anyway, but it might do something a bit wonky. It's just better to have it in properly. Okay, that's that done. Doc type HTML, get rid of all that nonsense. There we go. Got a doc type HTML5 file, just to inform the thing, blah, 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 blah. Usual nonsense for HTML. So that's that done. So we need to load the data. Load data. Okay. First thing, string, uh, load data. HTML. That's our string. Our uh, MIME type is text slash html encoding utf uh, da, dash eight okay is our string type and now this should load it automatically so we're just going to run it and i'm running it on my jenny motion emulator i'll actually increase the screen size a little bit so you can see Jenny Motion is something you should look up. It's an amazing Android emulator for testing on multiple devices. 
So as you can see, it has loaded the file uh, very nicely into the emulator. Now you've probably noticed that the images, most of the uh, things have stayed the same, but you'll notice that it's all incorrect, or like the image isn't loading. Well, that's because this doesn't have access to the internet. So let's just do a little uh, permission adding. So we go in here, go to our permissions, add users permission. Android.internet. Save. And if we rerun it now, which should show up straight away. Yeah, now the images are showing up. Now, as you can see, the images are all over the place and they're filling the screen too much. We need to add some optimizations to get this to appear correctly. But that's the general gist. And see how like nicely that text is formatted for us. Like it's just all handled to us or it's all handled by the uh, the web view. Just, I generally use web views to format fancy text essentially, or to do fancy text formatting, because it's amazingly easy to do, do that and just render it out as a HTML, because you know, HTML rendering or processing simple HTML with text is very easy for, uh, for it to do. So let's fix that image actually. Hello, I'll cut this video off and in the next video we'll get into adding a custom style sheet to your HTML. That's what we'll do next. And optimizing for mobile. So anyway guys, as always, it's been good talk and we'll see you in the next video.